This week we've learned how to be a superhero. Now learn how to be a good person? That can't be right. <laughs> Greetings superhumans and welcome to So You're a Superhero where this week we're looking at the difficult decisions you'll have to make on your road to becoming the greatest superhero of all time. I'm not sure if I could have made that sound any less fun if I tried but <laughs> let's push on anyway. It's a complex issue that could end up with you being as just and righteous as Superman, as badass as Batman, or as evil and frankly just totally f***ed up as the Purple Man, depending on which path you choose. And which one of those appeals to you says a hell of a lot about you as a person. Anyway, it's the tricky concept of superheroes and morality. <laughs> Morality as a concept is complex and requires a great deal of thought and discussion to really truly define. But this is a five minute comedy web video so we're just gonna skate over a lot of it. Hope that's okay with everyone. Generally when dealing with superheroes moral choices come in a few different forms. Firstly accepting gifts in exchange for your superheroic activities. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you Mr President, I do deserve this ceremony you're throwing me. And the plane you gave me. And the yacht. I deserve all of it because I'm the best. In case you didn't get it from that, I'm the best. Or at least I really think I am. Anyway, it's important to remember that the concept of gifts also includes financial compensation. Or, as regular people call it, cash. Uh, yeah, I mean... I did save you from that alien that was trying to eat your face at great personal risk to myself, but I suppose this makes up for it. Yeah, guilt tripping the people you rescue isn't a good look for any superhero. Basically accepting any kind of recompense for the things you do as a superhero tends to be a bad idea for a number of reasons. Firstly, being a superhero and helping people should be a reward in itself, and Yes, I did feel a wave of nausea rush over me as I said that. More importantly, when you start accepting physical or financial reward, the people providing it will start to gain leverage over you. And if they're bad people, that will only end badly. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess you did pay for my yacht and everything, but I feel really weird about using my powers to blow up an entire city. What's that? A second yacht? I'll do it! Wow, that guy is an asshole. However, beyond accepting reward for your actions, the biggest moral choice any superhero will have to face is whether or not you're going to be okay with murder. I'm okay with murder. <laughs> no, no, not like that. I mean, when you deal with your enemies, you have to decide whether you're going to take them out non-lethally like Batman. Commissioner, what do you mean all the villains escaped from prison again? No, it's not my fault for leaving them alive every time. Shut up, Commissioner. Or swiftly and with extreme prejudice, like the Punisher. <laughs> my villains never escape from prison, because their prison is hell. As you can tell, both arguments have upsides and downsides, and really it just depends on which way your moral compass points as to which path you're going to take. Just be aware that if you do veer too far into immorality and become a villain, then you'll probably get taken down. Hard. So leave a comment in the section below or on Facebook or Twitter with the hashtag StaySuper telling me how moral you think a superhero needs to be, and your comment could be featured in the next Alter Ego video blog. And until next time, stay super. Thank you for watching. You can click over there to watch last week's episode of So You're a Superhero or the most recent Alter Ego video blog, and you can click down there to subscribe to Empath Digital for brand new content every single week.